Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A very highly requested video today. We are going to be looking at some of your guys' end game squads, end game clubs that you have been able to acquire this year in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. Of course, as the year is winding down, as we are heading into FIFA 22 hype, the pregame for all of that, preseason is running right now inside of FIFA 21. I want to take a look at some of the squads you guys have been able to acquire this year, whether you started with FIFA points, spent some throughout the year, or went full RTG, no FIFA points at all. You could have an insane team this year, and I'll say it, it was the easiest year ever this year in FIFA to get these insane cracked out cards. A, because of the price and how cheap they are, but B, just because of how many cards were released and the amount of opportunities through upgrade packs, through the first ever Moments Icon SBCs for big name players like Ronaldo R9 and just how grindable this game was for the high tier end of this game, especially in the last couple of months with footies, summer stars, path to glory, all that Euros content. I mean, the squads we're going to look at today are insane. So of course, this is my team right here with a 99 Messi. You guys have seen this, right? It's on the YouTube, it's on the Twitch streams. We talk about it. I'll do a specific club tour video a little bit later, but this is my end game team and get used to seeing a few of the players. You know the ones which you're going to see a lot today, right? You're going to see a lot of Messi's, a lot of Acuna's and Ramos and Militao, man. It's kind of crazy to see how a lot of these teams are all different but how they're also still pretty similar. So without further ado, let's slide. And this is from Kerms786 on Twitter. He says, this is mine. The Neymar is courtesy of you. 442 in game with Messi and Neymar up top. So again, you see the Ramos and the Militao link. That Courtois SBC actually came in clutch for the end of the year. If you kept onto that card, which I know some of you guys didn't, uh, he came in clutch for those Real Madrid links with Varane, Militao, and Ramos being the three most used center backs in this end game, in my opinion. He's got Acuna in there. He's got the 99 Messi. He does have the 99 Neymar. Again, I wonder if we got... He says that I packed him for him. I do remember packing 99 Neymar. So I'm guessing this was from one of those uh, Neymar... What is it? The Neymar glitch packs, the one of five footies, foot champs upgrades. The Cruyff SPC, which I'm guessing was crafted, um, not packed. Then the 98 rated Hazard card over here for Belgium going really far in the Euros, getting that 98 rated boost. And then 99 Conte, nice CDM 99 rated Conte card, beating out Mane during footies. That's an insane team. 4-4-2, so I'm guessing your midfielders are Acuna and Conte. What a balance, man. With Neymar Messi up top, Cruyff out wide is interesting to me. I feel like Cruyff might get a little bit wasted out there. I like using Cruyff as striker, but I totally understand it. When you have players, and that's the one thing we'll see of some of these squads too. In, in this stage of the game, some people end up playing midfielders at left back. And, you know, players that usually play midfield on the wing because they have no other place to play them and their cards are just that cracked. And insane. This is from Matthew Britton on Twitter. He says, only Joe Hart needed to partner with Messi and I'm there. Jokester earlier this year in my ultimate team when I used Joe Hart at striker. He's got a tall Renato Sanchez, Neymar, Messi, and a lot of League One French action going on here. You're going to see it in a lot of squads, right? The Renato, the Atal. Of course, at the end of the game this year, I feel like League One just absolutely took off again in terms of hype, in terms of the amount of players that uh, did well in the Euros uh, with specifically guys like PTG Verratti. Um, you know, cards like Paredes as well, getting that five-star, five-star upgrade, those PSG links, which helped out so much when we get to the end of the year and we have a 99 rated Messi. We have the Neymar back in packs, the 99 Neymar, the 96 Tots Neymar. Um, and then again with the Renato and the Atal footies items, it seemed like League One at the end of this year was pro it's probably the most common league you're going to see in a lot of these squads. You're going to see like League One in almost every single team, and that's pretty crazy. But he's got a nice five-back formation. I'm assuming that maybe in-game um, he switches it up. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong. But five-back with Dybala, Renato Sanchez, Atal. That's a sick team, man. The defense is a little different, but I rate it, right? Quadrado, Delict. Um, Chiellini, Teo Hernandez. I like the defense, man. I really do. I'm assuming one of these goes in the midfield. Maybe Quadrado comes forward and plays, but hey, that's a really nice team, man. I rate that one. GG's. Again, the 96 Neymar wants 10 million coins. Now he's like 1.2 to 1.3. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, we have some more 99s in this one, man. This is from Don underscore 923, Twitch moderator. Shout out to Don. 
He's got the Serie A links in the back as well with Donnarumma, Bonucci, and Chiellini, those 96 rated cards. Again, Italian cards, Serie A had some nice stuff at the end of the year too uh, because of how far they went in the Euros. So that was a GG. He's got Cristiano Ronaldo, 99, chilling up top as a striker. Links to 97 Dybala and a 99 Messi. Three 99 rated cards in this team along with Conte and Chilwell getting that uh, strong link over there. Uh, Acuna, again, a mainstay in so many of these teams. And again, there's your League One card. Renato Sanchez on 8 cam with only one link. Probably still plays better than most other midfielders in this game, though. That's an absolutely sick side, Don. GG's. Paredes, you're going to see a lot of him as well. That perfect link to Messi with the Messi transfer SBC. Let's move on. These squads are freaking sick to see. Sun is my club legend, says uh, Rowley. Until this past month, he was still in your starting 11. Sun just scored versus Spurs, uh, or for Spurs versus Watford. GG's. Hey, we see some icons coming into the mix, right? We see this, these icons coming into the mix. And this is one thing that I want to make a point of this year. Like, how many icons have we seen in endgame teams so far? Slim to none. We really have not seen that many icons in these teams because they've just, they're not, you know, icons always have that little bit of special sauce to them or something special. Um, but for a lot of people, they've kind of fallen behind. So you've got a 95 Ronaldinho, I'm assuming SBC, awesome card. You got the Messi, you got the Renato. Um, Maldini, that's a different one. Baby Eusebio, probably a club legend for you, I'm assuming. And then on the bench, uh, yeah, you've got some insane cards on the bench. Play them on Sunny. I think that was what you were mentioning. Play them on Sunny with 800 games played. What a grind. Let's go, man. Love that one. Love that one. Different team, but I like it. Let's keep moving on. This is from Juve1897 ADP, and we have our first Moments R9 appearance today. And again, man, it's just crazy to see how meta some of these teams are and how crazy some of these teams are. A lot of people, is this, is this a 198 squad? Wow, this is a 198. 198 with a 99 Ronaldo on the bench. The bench is full of 98s and 99s. That is Mental, but he's got R9. He's got one, two, three 99 rated cards in the starting 11 with Conte, Messi, and Neymar. Red and Bappe, right? We don't see too many red cards this stage of the game, too, because not many tots who have been in red rewards, not many tots cards make the final end game team, right? You have guys like Acuna, you have guys like these footies items that are just better. So, Llorente, love that card. He's in my team. And again, we have the triangle here of Militao, Ramos, and Courtois. That's a sick looking team, bro. Absolutely love it. And again, as we're going through these teams too, you notice some of these things that are the same. Another Red Mbappe. This is from MJK underscore foot. No way, man. Red Mbappe. I forgot you had him. We packed in this moment's R9 on stream. And he says uh, in this, this tweet, he says R9 sucks. Um, well, this is the R9 to glory. So he got R9 and then made a squad around him. GG's. But what I was saying about the meta is so many people in this game are just going meta, meta, meta. And there's not as much fun incorporated in this game, right? So I like to see some of these teams, and we'll see them occasionally as we're scrolling through today. Some of these teams that are just different. They're just different. And for that matter, I like it. Here's a little bit of a different one. We have got Vinicius Jr., 97 rated, 5-star, five 5-star, five left mid, Brazil. Lovely card there. Rude Hullitz, SBC, team of the year, Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, another Acuna Paredes, another Ramos, Jordi Alba in there, and a Vieira, which actually, interestingly enough, this Vieira card, most people are playing as a center back. Center back Vieira. He said, uh, try to, my best to pull Neymar. Not really lucky enough, but happy to grind with this whole year. That's a pretty solid looking team. You have a stud midfield. Actually, you know, that's, I think you could be a little more attacking here unless you're playing a Hullet uh, going up forward. You've got a Vieira, Acuna, Hullet midfield. Then you've got Cruyff, CR7, and the main man, Vinicius, going forward. Um, unless you've got, you know, maybe a two-man in midfield and you've got either Acuna or Hullet going forward. But that is a nice team. Seems like Hullet's the guy you wanted to grind for. You got the team Hullet badge. Love it, man. Love that squad. That is from Sujan Shresta. GG's. All right, what's next? From Smuzz. He said, something a bit different. This is what I was looking for. Something a bit different. I like this one. There's a card in here that I even forgot existed in this game. Take a look at the right back. Right wing back, what if Malqui? Excuse me? Like, what? That's crazy, man. Dybala in here. We got to get this guy Quadrado. I, I think Quadrado's SBC is gone, but Quadrado Tots would be perfect. He's got End of an Era Aguero. He has got the Kevin De Bruyne Cancelo. Moments SBC Joe Gomez with Ramos and Militao with Courtois, just not the Tots. And then he's got 
moments van basten in the middle an icon to link all these different guys together that is a bit different bro but i rate it i like the team and i like different right i like something to mix it up speaking of mixing it up we're gonna mix it up once more and i have a couple points to make about this spc man because or sorry about this team this is from the J -J john he says here's mine bro and I love that 98 cane up top. I love the Adama on the outside. Love the Sonny. He's got Lingard, Foden, and Conte, and Tellez. But this is the point I want to make, and this is what I thought of when I saw the squad. In this end game, how many teams are you coming up against that have Premier League players? Premier League players. This is the only squad that has more than like two or three Prem links in it, like for this entire video. It's crazy. Maybe the maybe like three or four links, but I mean you see this is like a half half prem team, half La Liga with an icon thrown in there with uh, Puyol. I mean insane man. The Premier League cards in this game they're just not as meta, so that's why people resort to those League One items and to those 99s. As we've gotten to the end game, the Premier League has kind of fallen off a little bit, which is very interesting. But he's got Son Lingard, 99 Conte. The Adama grind was real. That's a nice team. That's a very very nice squad. It is a one nine six. Uh, I'm wondering who he has on his bench, but I know he packed this Puyol, which is dope. He's using him. Varane is a nice one. Llorente, I think, is one of the best right backs and CDMs in the game. So I like that team, and he's got Arteta as the manager. Oh, no, that's problematic in, in itself, <laughs> in its own right. GG's, though. Uh, I kind of picked some different teams here for the end, as you can tell. And we have a full moments icon squad here from the Sweaty Banana Foot Trader, the Sweaty FC Full moments team. Bronze bench, bro. Bronze bench. What are we doing, man? Unbelievable. Anyways, he's got two Zidans in this team. CDM Zidane and Manager Zidane. He's got Ramos and Dybala and Atal on the bench. Three of the most OP cards that are not moments icons. GG's to that. But R9, Pele. I mean, this is sick, man. I love this because this is awesome. I'm guessing you had to go out and buy a couple of them. I'm guessing it's not entirely untradeable. But that's awesome, bro. I love the full moments icon squad basically about as good as it gets i'm not i mean maybe if you think eusebio makes it into this team over like somebody but i think this is like the best moments icon team that you could possibly put together i love it i think that's so cool and it's different so that's a pretty sweet squad right there moving on we have a couple left this is from foot eusebio he's got eusebio in his starting squad too i did not think doing this video today that i would see two baby eusebios we've got a cavani a bruno and then we kind of transition into a little french slash uh la liga hybrid here at the back and he says in the tweet he says feel like i need a better left back and i just need cr7 and the game is done i think what he's thinking is a 99 rated cristiano ronaldo transfer card at Manchester United would be perfect. A nice little perfect link to Bruno, get a strong link to Cavani, and I think that's what he wants to put in place for his Eusebio, and that's why he has him there. But that would be an insane card, and I think a lot of people would res would change up their teams on a moment's notice if that objective were to drop. But that's a nice team, man. I like Cantona on here, and I want to make a comment about Cantona as well. That was one of the cards that I was in my team for a long time. He was one of the first big-time Moments Icons S SBCs, I believe. I'm going to go check on this. I know he's still live, but he was one of the first ones that we got back here when they first... We had Garincha. We had Javi Maradona. Actually, I think he's gone away. I think that the Cantona SBC, that might have been during Team of the Season. That has definitely gone away if it was during TOTS. But that was one of the first big moments SBCs that we got. I think a decent amount of people did that because it was his first year in foot. Manchester United legend, of course. And he had five-star skills, which was very overpowered in this game. So I think, I think that was, at the time, a lot of people did Cantona because it was a pretty solid SBC. But... Another very nice team. I see my team of the year, Kimmich, chilling on the bench. Absolutely love that card. And yeah, you did say you feel like you could upgrade your left back. I'm sure Mendy is still very, very good in this game. Maybe the Amavi objective would be another French uh, left back that would fit in there for you. But of course, the time of that card uh, has come and gone. Let's move on a little bit more. And we're back to a really crazy meta team from Abdesalam. But... We have an interesting part, this meta team that I want to talk about, and that is 99 rated Neymar at left back. What? 
left back Neymar and CDM Acuna. This is what I was saying earlier when you know your team is so good and there's so many overpowered players in FIFA when you have to resort to using left mids at left back and CDMs at center back just because you got to try to fit everybody else in the team. Now, I'm sure that he puts moments Vieira at center back when he's playing in game, and I'm guessing this goes to a three back or actually just kidding. He says it here in the tweet. He says all untradeable 4-1-2-1-2 in game with Acuna left back, Vieira center back, Sanchez CDM, Dybala and Atal as center mids. Interesting. That's crazy, man. I use, I use Dybala up top and I feel like he would be decent in the midfield, but I mean, I feel like you would lose a little bit of your star power there with him, but I guess not. Again, that's just a testament to what happens in the end game when you have so many insane cards and you don't know what to do with them. But it is crazy to see that a Cunha card can be played across the entire pitch, man. Five star, five star. How many five star skillers do we have in this team, by the way? Can we just do a little VAR check on that? Renato Sanchez, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have eight five-star skillers in the squad. That is nuts, man. That's crazy. That is FIFA one, FIFA 21 meta in a nutshell as well. A 197 squad. That is a dope squad. GG's, man. All right, last couple. Here is CJ, a moderator in the live stream. Foot Rager is his name. And the reason I wanted to show this squad is because he has been banned from the transfer market since September. Since, or sorry, since December. Wow, that's way off. December. It is September right now. He's been banned since December in FIFA 21, and he still managed to get a 197 with all of these cards, of course, coming out after December um, through just grinding upgrade packs and no FIFA points as well, by the way. I think he maybe put on a couple FIFA points for like a draft or two um, when that was going on, um, but still crazy, crazy, crazy team. Paredes, Marquinhos, you've got a Conte in there. I don't know how he managed to do it, but GG's, man. I think some insane pack luck in there with the uh, the Neymar popped up, the Acuna popped up. You still packed Chilwell and Militao and Paredes and stuff like that. So GG's in the pack luck, but still just goes to show that, and there's some other squads that I were sent that, that I was sent over the weekend um, as well. You didn't have to grind the game for that long to have a squad that looked like this. All you needed was a little bit of insane pack luck and you could have an insane, insane squad. Another icon squad here. He says, don't care about goalkeepers. <laughs> He's got gold, Courtois, and net. Another Acuna at CDM with a full icon moments. I'm guessing SBC um, attack in midfield with Vieira, Hullet, Maradona. I think that might be the first Maradona we've seen today. That is a GG. I like that team. That is a different one. Um, I think we have two more teams right here. Another icon moments attack. I think I wanted to show this one because it had Roberto Carlos in there and that was different and a red O black. Um, I think there's another team as well that maybe has Roberto Carlos and um, Capita as right back, but it's just crazy how some of those cards have just been overshadowed, even though they're supposed to be some of the best of the best, how they have become a little bit overshadowed. So Jaleel here says, I feel like I beat the game. Don't really see the point in grinding when my team is maxed out. He has got himself a Syria squad here with a couple extra links in here, PSG wise. He's got that Florenzi Path to Glory card, which I think this Florenzi would have had a way more la long lasting impact on the game um, if he wasn't an SBC, if he wouldn't have transferred. I think if he had PSG links, that card would be still in so many teams because of the links to Verratti. They'd be a perfect link to Verratti, the Messi, the Paredes, the Di Maria, the Neymar, Mbappe, all that stuff. I think Florenzi's card would have been so much more useful if he would have stayed uh, with PSG, but that's not the way the cookie crumbled. Anyways, he's got footies, El Shirawi, Dybala up top. The SBC Di Maria is a nice one in there. like to see that. He has got the Benucci center back card, footies, Smalling, and Showdown Godin, who is not going to get upgraded, but... Um, still a very nice Serie A center back. So that's a nice Serie A slash PSG hybrid that you got going on right there, bro. I dig that one. That was a bit different. And last team right here, another little bit of Serie A madness. Again, just to show, and this is what I wanted to make this final point, is that the Serie A had a really, really great end to FIFA with some of the footies cards that were released and some of the summer stars um, that were put out. Just because it was nation specific, you saw some leagues kind of just shine based on performances. Um, that their players had at the Euros and in the end game. Locatelli, the mailman, melee, right back here. This is GG. The only thing I'm a slight bit disappointed about is that 93 rated PTG Christian Eriksen 
isn't in this team, but I totally get it. I think he can come in for Tonali. Be, be even better than him but that's just my opinion right there so boys thank you for sending in all of your squads i would love to look at them all but again it's crazy to see the squads you guys have come up with and i love looking at some of the different ones some of the ones that were just you know different from your normal squad which a lot of you guys' teams probably look pretty similar to mine bar you know three or four changes so that, again, I just wanted to take a look at some of those squads today. It is very fun to see how successful you guys have been this year with your grind. And uh, this would maybe be something that I would like to do even more so throughout FIFA 22 and kind of have like check-ins, right? Like maybe after the first two months of the game, hey, how are your squads looking? Maybe after team of the year, hey, how are your squads looking? After like full birthday or something, hey, how are your squads looking? Just to kind of see the progression of squads throughout the year and then see the final destination at the end of the year, kind of where we are now. So that'll maybe be something that I will do over this next year of FIBA 22. But if you send in a squad, thank you very much. I, I look through hundreds, man. I'm serious. I had over 200 replies to uh, this tweet, and it was crazy to look through them all. I looked through just about all of them, and um, man, it's crazy to see how many of you guys have been able to attain insane squads this year year but that is the video for today boys if you did enjoy smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new it's been nate the foot account catch you guys later peace out